So we are officially in 2024. So you know what that means. I've got new goals. I got new grails. There's all sorts of things that I want to do in the new year. Welcome to my channel. My name is James and I like clothes and well-made things. And today I want to go over my fashion goals and my fashion grails. I'm gonna start off with my fashion goals first and then I'm gonna move into my fashion grails. Let's get into the first goal. Don't always focus on quality for money. I get caught up in buying things that like aesthetically I really don't love, but it's the best quality of what it is. A good example for me is a pair of hiking boots. I've really been obsessed with the Viberg hikers. And then as I started doing some research and things like that, I actually pulled the trigger on the Vibergs and I just realized that they weren't for me. Like aesthetically, they're, they're just not exactly what I love. And I just don't, find myself quality wise they're amazing but it's just not for me i ended up keeping my morhas that i've been wearing for the last two years and although the quality is not going to be perfect in comparison to guidi or viberg i love them i love the aesthetic of them they've broken in really well and they're just so much fun to wear and that's going to be my biggest thing is like buy the thing that i like because the quality is going to be there but it doesn't need to be the most expensive high-end quality of a thing buy things that fit me and then fit my body. Why wouldn't you buy things that fit you? And the reason why I say that is because I always think I'm gonna like grow into it or I'm gonna get bigger or I'm gonna lose weight or something like that. And sometimes I'll buy something that is slightly too tight or I'll buy something that is slightly too big and I always end up just like not loving it. So I wanna be extremely picky over the next year of the things that I'm going to buy and I wanna make sure they fit my body type as well as fit me perfectly find synergy within my clothing. I have so many different like aesthetics and styles that I love, but sometimes it's just, I want stuff that's gonna go together. I want a little bit more like plug and play. So I'm gonna focus like more so on like jeans that go with this top or this jacket that goes with this. I wanna find things that like have less of them, but they go with more things. I wear a suit every day. So I want stuff that I can wear to work, but then I can also just wear with like a really cool pair of boots or I can wear with a denim jacket or something like that. Synergy and kind of cohesion within my style and not to get caught like buying these obscure things that I don't really love and they're not like super my style, but I like the idea of it wait on it before I buy it. I think it's important to really kind of think about the clothing that you're gonna get and really have a lot of intent. I believe last year was talking about intent and I think I did a good job, but I don't necessarily think that it was all the way there. And I wanna make sure that I have really good pieces. So taking a step back, really understanding, do I like this more than I like that? Do I want this more than that piece that I've been looking at? And finding that and just making sure that I slow down the buying process within my clothes to get the things that I love. Two more left after this one, so stay with me, is finding things for my use case. The Our Legacy Camion Boots, that is a boot that is probably one of my favorite pieces of 2023, but I only have the brown pair. And I thought to myself for so long, am I going to love the black pair? And I, and I knew I would, I mean, I love the boot, I love the aesthetic, but where does it fit in my style? If I'm wearing the black one, will the brown one not get as much love? Or am I not gonna wear my other black boots that I love wearing and things like that? So I ended up deciding not to get the black boot version of it because I wanted to have a different silhouette in a black boot than I did in the brown boot. The boots itself matched too much that I just know that one was gonna get more love than the other and I wanna make sure I'm sharing all my babies and having fun with all of them. Finding things that I'm gonna wear and I'm gonna enjoy but they don't overlap with current styles because I already know that one will win and the other one will just sit in the closet. Buy clothes that will upgrade your wardrobe. Buy something that is gonna be a better alternative to what I have, or more of a fun alternative to what I have. A good example is a pair of trousers. So I've got great pairs of dress trousers, and I love them, but they're starting to get a little dingy, and I don't wanna go back and just resupply on them, because those aren't ones that I've loved anyway. However, I really want a pair of Stofa basket weave trousers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wear my pants now and then continue to save and then go and get 
those pants when the time is right. I want that to elevate. I wanna, as I trickle down my less nice things, I wanna constantly focus on upgrading. And that is a piece that I think would be a great example of that. Just really focus on upgrading my wardrobe. And upgrade doesn't need to be more expensive. It could just be a cooler silhouette to something that I like. Before selling, see if you can alter the product. Try to get everything that I can out of the product before I get rid of it or I sell it. What about it that I don't like and how can I fix it? So that's gonna be an important way for me to save money, to continue to wear the things that I love or to continue to take something that was not quite my style for this year and turn it into my style for next year. And those are the things to me that are my fashion goals for 2024. Those are things that I just think are important for me to learn. I'm really excited to kind of grow from that, but let me stop rambling and let's get into my grails. My fashion grails. A lot of these are gonna be kind of things that I talked about last year. I do recommend kind of checking out the 2023 fashion goals and grails because it'll give you an idea of my growth. Stofa pants, for a while I was obsessed with. I really wanted a suit. I found out that like just the suit was so expensive and I knew that I wasn't gonna wear it as much as I wanted. I've kind of leaned out of suits. I'm still doing like off jackets and pants, but I really want a pair of basket weave trousers from Stofa. I have been on the website, they're so beautiful. When I was in New York recently, I went and I got to go to this other store called CHCM and they had a bunch of Stofa stuff and I like reinvigorated myself with how beautiful the products are. And not everything is for everyone, but I found these pants and they felt like denim almost, but they were obviously very much trousers. And it was just something that I thought was beautiful. I wanna get a black pair and I wanna get um, like a cream pair. And I just really love the aesthetic, I really like the work and I think they will go well with, again, finding cohesion within my style. It's something that I'll probably just wear into the ground. So excited for these. Hopefully I can get them this year. Upgrading my fatigue pants. I know right now I have the J. Crew fatigue pants and I really do love them, but I just watched a video, I believe his name is Anton, talks about like buying the alternatives of things you really want and I definitely fell into that. This was something that I wanted to spend a year or two kind of understanding whether I like them and kind of going in and just learning from those. And while I was in New York, I actually got to go to Self Edge. Absolutely love that place. The people in there are great. They're like the perfect, cool with also customer service. You'll get what I mean if you ever go in there. And I really love a pair of Samurai Fatigue Pants. I looked at them, they're a salvage look, they're gorgeous. I have been really lusting after the Orslo pair as well, but I feel like that's just always around and I wanted something that was a bit more of an alternative version of that, but still the same quality and still the love and they'll wear in that way. So I'm really excited for a pair of Fatigues from Samurai. I know last year it was Fatigues from Orslo and obviously that didn't work out because I ended up getting the J. Crew ones. And I love the J. Crew ones, but again, we're talking about elevating your personal style, getting things that are a little bit better quality, a little bit, a little bit better. And I think these are gonna be great and they'll be like the last pair that I ever buy. A nice baggy trench coat. And there are so many different versions. You can go vintage. I fell in love raglan trench coat from Stofa. It is insanely expensive. It is so much money. I don't know whether I can actually pull that off this year. That's a lot of money. I'm trying to be a good boy and get ready for life. But I absolutely love it. It's a raglan kind of oversized sweater. And I just love, again, cohesion within my style. I can wear that with super baggy denim. I can wear them heritage feeling. I can wear it with a suit. It's gonna go so well with so many different things. I'm really excited about that. That's something that I really want, but by the time I can afford it, it'll be the summer. So we'll see where that goes goes. I've really thought about getting a wife one. Wife does a little bit more of a Western feel, which I think is absolutely beautiful. And then ours, our legacy has like this Sherling Sherpa one, which I think is great as well. Those are definitely on my list. I haven't figured out which one I want yet, but I'm super excited to kind of try that out and see how that goes. And I went to New York specifically to find these, but I can never find them in my size. It's so frustrating. And it is a pair of para boots. The ones that I've really been interested in are the Michael. And I know I can go online and just buy them anywhere, but there's no fun in that. I like the hunt. I like to go through that. And everything that I've ever read about para boot is just extremely well made. I think they're perfect casual, perfect dressy. Again, I can wear it with a suit, but then I can wear the trench coat and some denim and baggy jeans. It's 
It's funny, I was at three different boutiques, all completely different styles. And I think like four of the five boutiques I went into, they were guys wearing pair of boots. It's just such a cool pair of shoes. I think it's unique, I think it's fun. I definitely want the black ones. If I can't go those, I might go a little bit more of a dressy route. There is a brand called Epp and Tour. It's at CHCM, I always screw up the name, but they have this like one-off version pair of boot with a kind of an apron in the front. I just think it's so beautiful. It's like a one-piece looking upper. It's a pebble leather. It is extremely pretty. I love the look of it. And I would wear those in a second as well. Those are the two like that I'm like top of the line for as far as footwear and things like that. These will definitely be something that I get this year. And I'm really excited for those. Those are definitely things on my list and I'm excited to potentially get them. And again, we're gonna go back into Evan Canori. Last year, I talked about wanting something from Evan Canori. At first, it was the Derby, but I just found myself really enjoying the churches. So there's no need to get two of the same thing. Again, I already have a use case for that, but I really want a pair of trousers or even just one of their suit setups. I, again, tried their stuff on at CHCM and it was absolutely amazing. I love the look of it. I love the feel. The structure is cool. I had no idea that they're all like limited edition, like numbered versions. That's not going to sway me as far as buying it goes. It fit me so well and I love the way it looked. I love the kind of way that it took me out of my element. I thought it was gorgeous and just so, so beautiful. They had the moleskin one. That was the one that I liked the most and definitely something that will be a pickup for the next year or so. We will see. nice zippered black leather jacket. I've looked for a while. I have the Beams one that is great. I've had other versions. Something about it doesn't fit the way that I like and that's why it's important to me to find stuff that fits my proportion. So I really like Our Legacy. So Our Legacy has, I believe it's called the mini jacket. It's a crop which isn't super cropped on me because I'm short and it's a wider build which is great for my body. And I think it's a great look. It's got the reverse zip which is perfect for what I need. And I think it's something that I will just wear and cherish and enjoy for a long time. That one is about $1,900 and it is a bit more fashion forward. So I have two alternatives that I think I might like too. We'll see. Nudie does one called, I believe it's called the Eddie jacket and it's closer to like $900 and it's still kind of a more of a rider jacket. It's aesthetically beautiful. Again, I want to try these on before I pull any triggers, but I really like the way it, look at, it looks at that. I love the fact that Nudie's is like obviously a pretty heritage brand with a, they're known for good quality. And I really I really love those pieces. I really want one of those jackets. Those are definitely a top grail for me. That's all I have for you guys today. That is my goals and my grails. Make sure you like and subscribe. My name is James. Thank you so much. Goodbye.